So it is 15.50 p.m. It is Thursday afternoon, and we're going to do a book review. Hardcover for Star Wars, The Life Day Cookbook. Official holiday recipes from the galaxy far, far away. Jen Fukaja, Fujikawa, and Mark Simarek. So, this is a good book. I am buying it, for sure. So, there's the front. There's the back. It is 128 pages of recipes and pictures and all that good shit. So, hop on your TV so you can enjoy this. Oh, and Ted Thomas did the photographs. Because he's a gangster. Yeah, I like the different cookbooks that have come out recently. They are really nice. That's your table of contents. And of course, a lot of these you can substitute shit if you've got food allergies or you're vegan or you just, I don't know, don't care. <laughs> Pretty colors though. I don't like that shit. I thought this was going to be how it was throughout, but nah. And he, the artist for this is credited in the back as well. We get apps and snacks. So I won't show all the pictures, just recipes, save time. Because a lot of these recipes are pretty freaking cool. Love them. And they don't have difficulties, but with every recipe, they give you the prep time, the yield, and the difficulty. The yield is how many you can make out of it. For those of you that don't know what that means, and just think it's, you know, explosions and shit. <clears throat> and some of them, they give you, you know, cooking time as well. And some of these have multiple pages attached to them, so just a forewarning on that. What is my favorite recipe out of this book? I don't know. <laughs> but they are pretty amazing. All the different choices they got here, like, you can't go wrong with it. Um, yeah, like this one has two pages worth. If you're a cooking enthusiast and you have to have every cookbook that comes out, I mean, like, you have a stockpile of cookbooks from Christ Fallen decades back. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be for you. If not, well, guess what? You ain't a real cook. Um... If you love fandom cookbooks, this is definitely up your alley. I've covered many, many fandom cookbooks on my channel. You can just check out this playlist and you'll find them. And also, some of these recipes don't have pictures. Just another FYI. So if you're getting this expecting, you know, a finished product for it, well, sorry. Side dishes. I mean, it's smart not having a finished product piece or pick, but if you're one of those that needs, ooh, sorry about that, one of those that needs, you know, a visual guide and shit, my I do, <laughs> yeah, I too, I understand, but yeah. If you've been on the fence about this book and you're waiting for a full review, you've come to the right channel. Because I give a full review. <clears throat> so, do I love this book? Of course. This is a beautiful book. Um, and this has multiple pages attached to it. Do I need it in my collection? Yeah, because I do eventually want to learn to cook. I mean, I know how to make some stuff, but not everything. Because the last thing I made was... Uh, 
boy. What was the last thing I ever cooked? Um, something with meat. Ah, oh, chicken manicotti. Yeah, that was <laughs> ages ago. That was the last decade, early last decade. That was the last time I ever cooked. It was such a fucking mess. I hated making that shit. My favorite thing to make was uh, bacon shrimp wraps. Those were delicious. Oh, they were so good. Bacon, shrimp, doused in BBQ sauce. Yum. The main courses. And of course you get a bio about how everything, you know, it's a little backstory and shit. Plus, cooking's a lot of fun. You can make all kinds of recipes and shit. From the easy mac and cheese, which has multiple variations over the years, to um, just making it work with, you know, every type of steak. There's all kinds of prep choices for it, to a simple PB&J. And even that's been reinvented multiple times. Holy shit. This looks interesting. I do want to try that. Come on, stop that. Thank you. I don't know why my phone does not like to focus sometimes. It drives me nuts. And we are just over halfway through. I like me some ribs. Oh, yeah. And if you need pronunciation, it's track ribs. There you go. I'm good like that. I can help you pronounce shit. Remove and discard the membrane. It's alive? We're killing something. That's horrible. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, but everything is easy to read. It's got a good background to it. If you have problems reading this, you know, you can have somebody read it for you, of course. Um, because I know a lot of people have reading disabilities and shit. I know I used to have that shit. When I was growing up, and then I just watched the caps on TV, and ooh, I learned all kinds of words. Pretty. Come on, stop that. Thank you. Ah, <sighs> desserts. Almost done. If it will focus. I do like my desserts. They are easy. They are so good. I'm a whore for a good dessert. Making good time on this vid, too. I like that. That's really good news. So, if you don't like Star Wars, if you don't like cooking, well, you just took a huge, massive, shitty dump on two cool things. Yeah, that real steamy one, too. That wafting steam shit. Yeah, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but if you love both these things, and you want to bond with your family, or you want to show off, those are adorable. Wookie oogies! That sounds like something somebody would say is a safe word. <laughs> oh my then yeah this is a good book for you to have for sure that looks extra tasty oh. cause when I saw it I was like cake I'm like okay that works 
But yeah. Uh, All these are simple to make. They're not really that hard based on difficulty. It's all about patience and time. <clears throat> that looks good too. I had to turn my phone light on because I was losing daylight. Still am. Because it was sunny and then it got cloudy because it started to rain. Well, it was raining earlier, but yeah. We got drinks. Come on. Uh, I do like how they've made drinks now. Like, that's a lot of fun. And plus, you can make these alcoholic if you want to. I mean, if you're a bartender and shit, no, you can definitely work this shit up good. I know somebody made the Bantha milk hot chocolate. I remember that. <clears throat> and plus another thing about this is there's supplies you're gonna need for this. Like if you don't have a blender, you gotta get a blender. Don't got a pitcher, gotta get a pitcher. Yeah, a lot of materials you're gonna need to make this stuff. If you don't have it, just go buy it. Or you know, ask a friend, borrow it from them. Maybe they'll be generous enough and you can share it. <laughs> ah, oh, that was a weak one. And Joe Blasto Punch. Sounds pretty gangster. And also, there's a song for it. Yeah, buddy. There is the Alvarez version. And then there's the English version. Or basic. Come on, focus. Thank you. Ah, uh, eggnog. Good grief. <laughs> I like eggnog, but woof. That shit just, oof. Raw egg. Ugh. Okay. Let me tell you how to celebrate it at home. By doing decorations. So yeah, this is a good two-pronged book. You get uh, recipes, and you get decorations that you can make. Come on. So that's a lot of fun. Plus there's YouTube vids that follow this. So you know, somebody's like, hey, welcome to blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And now we're gonna make the video. <laughs> but blah, 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 let me tell you about blah, 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 blah. Oh. Who sponsor blah 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 and it's like motherfucker I just came here for the video I came here to learn <laughs> so there's your dietary considerations food measurements weight all right good shit come on all right guys not sure about the authors, your acknowledgments. Two page spread of food. And the artist is Joel Hustak. So, check him out and shit. And that's it. That's everything. We're done. We're finished. Ain't that some shit? So, I'll be off here and do other shit. So, till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.